So. Hi, I'm Madison Rodriguez and I'm here with my partner Abby Sweetman and today we're going to be talking about the Concordia Language Village. Now let's take a look at our three previews by artificially traveling around the world just like the villagers do. Los ambientes positivos sirvan a experiencias de aprendizaje positiva. Wir glauben, dass die Liebe in Massen den Erfolg fördert. Go! Hokatsu teki katsu, kyoroku teki, gakushu kankyo o dekireba seiko suru koto ga dekimasu. La technologie ne correspond pas toujours à un apprentissage plus réussi. Williams, Salberg, and Berliner and Glass all support these through their individual writings. The Concordia Language Village is a camp all year round that allows students of all ages to come and learn a foreign language and experience the culture. The purpose is to create more, globally, more global citizens. All the languages you just heard are taught at the Concordia Language Village Center. This is the educational organization that Madison Brennigan and Abby Sweetman decided to analyze. The first big theme that we chose to analyze is tough love and moderation promotes learning. As Dr. Williams, who wrote Jewels on Schools, page 29, quotes, when students experience failure after failure, they no longer feel in control of their successes or failures. This relates to the Concordia Language Village because the students, also known as the villagers, are encouraged to make mistakes as a way of learning. This puts each, each villager in control of their own failures and help them learn from every, every one. Um, Berliner and Glass, uh, in their book, 50 Myths and Lies That Threaten American Public Schools on page 129, discuss an analogy about medication. They say that everybody responds to medication differently. So how can we be expected to be pushed, to push kids the same way over and over when everybody reacts differently to the statement, or to a, to a learning technique? Concordia Language uh, Village really does a good job of this because they don't push kids in the same way but they still apply tough love in moderation. As Posse Salberg states in Finnish Lessons 2.0, page 82, the cost of grade repetition is high. When a student is pushed to, to do the same thing over they'll, and fail, they'll feel like failures. Um, one thing that Concordia language does is they don't use repetition in the way they teach. A list of activities that, that Concordia does to try to include the language or like games, songs, conversations, relaxing, um, and really just being at the camp. Um, this kind, of, this quote kind of relates back to Jewels in Schools and saying, if uh, they all fit, if they keep failing, um, they're they aren't going to feel in control of their successes or their failures. Uh, while Concordia still uses tough love and moderation to keep the villagers fully immersed in their language of choice, they are careful so that they don't repeat activities over and over. Now let's take a look at some of the successes and struggles that, the, that Tough Love faces in the Concordia language villages. Uh, one success about this camp is although it's a fully, fully immersion camp, um, they do speak English in case of mental health or physical health emergencies. An example being, if there were a fire at the camp, the counselor would not yell fuego, instead they would yell fire so that these little kids, also known as the villagers, would not be so confused about the potentially danger fire. One struggle about tough love and moderation is that the frustration levels can be very high, especially for kids who don't have um, an, an extremely advanced, advanced vocabulary. Take a look at this example. ¿Cómo estás? What? ¿Cómo estás? Uh, no Spanish. ¿Cómo estás? I don't know what you're saying. Estoy muy bien. ¿Cómo estás? I don't know what that means. Although the counselor was rephrasing the question in different different words, the student still felt frustrated and it felt discouraged. Similarly to how tough love and moderation can promote for a positive learning environment, inclusive and collaborative learning environments also promote success. As quoted by Dr. Williams in Jewels on Schools on page 164, the idea of mutual respect and of utilizing the strength and wisdom of many to find solutions really just makes huge sense. Why limit ourselves to the, to the understanding of one person or one group of similar persons? This relates to the Concordia Language Village because they do a very good job of creating a collaborative community. Not only do the villagers interact with their own age group, they also interact with students of all ages. This creates a positive learning environment. 
As questioned by Berliner and Glass on page 42, does competition in the ex educational sector accelerate rather than solve our most difficult challenges in public education? They say no, and then follow this by, by examining the effectiveness of collaboration and comparing apples to apples, so public to public, not public to private. The Concordia Language Village does a really good job and they support the collaborative learning environment. Their main focus as a villager there is the speaking and, and listening aspects of language, as cited by the director of Concordia Language Village, Mark Chen. All day, every day, rather than just sitting down and reading a German dictionary and memorizing their verbs, they are communicating with their counselors and with their peers. This creates a collaborative and inv inviting environment that promotes success. As discussed by Posse Salberg on page 30, all students of all abilities will be taught together and they will learn together. There's no separate special education in Finland, so everyone learns and everyone collaborates at the same time together. This isn't the same as the Concordia Language Village, where all students of all ages are all together for a majority of the day learning together. Now we will discuss the successes and the struggles of a collaborative environment. One success of the Concordia Language Village regarding the inclusive and collaborative learning environment is that the kids of all ages and abilities collaborate with each other throughout the day. Let's take a look at this example. You have an eight-year-old who can say apple and a 12-year-old who can say I like apples. And then you have the 18-year-old that can say apples are good for my health. By them all being able to speak to each other and collaborate, they can learn from each other. A struggle of this theme may be that if a, ch if a child is, or a villager, is intimidated, especially because this is in a foreign language, they might not want to participate in the activity. For an example for this, if the counselor were to ask all the students what their favorite fruit is in German, all the other very outgoing and extroverted students would give their answer right away, whereas a more timid student might be thinking to themselves that they know the answer, but they're too scared to give the answer. Hmm. Our third and final theme that we decided to analyze is the lack of technology present in a learning environment can be positive. As Posse Solberg in Finnish Lessons 2.0 states on page 199, an increasing number of students will find teaching, teaching in school irrelevant because they have already learned what is meaningful, them, meaningful for them elsewhere, otherwise known as the internet. Uh, he states this around the statement that children are becoming less interested in school because they, technology can give them the answers they want. They miss the value of creativity and curiosity. This relates to Concordia Learning Camp because they don't have technology available to them, so they have to use their minds and be creative and uh, collaborative with each other. Per Maddie and I's phone interview with Mark Chen, a director at the Concordia Language Village, he explained to us why they have no technology at the Concordia Language Village. No technology means that the students are able to fully engage and be present with their language, with one another, and with this awesome environment and culture that they get to be a part of without having to travel to another country. No technology also means no outside distractions. This means that they're fully able to immerse into this experience. If I'm texting my mom in English, that means I'm not talking to my friend sitting next to me in Japanese. Language learning occurs 24 seven at this camp, so there's no time for technological distractions. This intense yet effective, fun, effective and fun learning environment can't have these technologies. An article published by the TED blog in June of 2016 discusses the characteristics of a well-rounded and diverse school, which none of them being technology. Some of the characteristics that the TED blog article offers is fakes and makers and doer functions as opposed to just sitting in the classroom learning. They also talk about rather than just talking about nutrition and making healthy meals, actually having a garden within the school that the students can work at. With other examples, it just talks about how technology is not necessarily make education better. This is shown through the Concordia Language Village where they do not allow technology there and they do more hands-on and group collaborative work. Now we will discuss the successes and struggles of this theme. One of the successes of the Concordia Language Learning Village that they do not have the implementation of technology is that it has no distraction for the kids. An example of this is you don't hear all of the technology ringing. Instead, you can actively participate in German song time or whatever other activity is happening. One of the struggles of this theme is that it's hard for some of the villagers to adapt to the no technology rule. Take a look at this example. Welcome to the Concordia Language Villagers. Everyone please hand over your phone because that's our rule to have the best learning experience. May I have your phone please? Uh, what if my mom texts? 
She'll contact you through us. I need your phone, please. But I don't really, I, I don't feel comfortable giving it away. It's okay, you'll get it back later. I need your phone. <sighs> okay. After examining three themes, their successes and struggles, we have concluded many things. Through tough love and moderation promotes learning. Inclusive and collaborative learning environments promote success. Lastly, the implementation of technology does not correlate with a higher level of learning. The Concordia Language Village supports these themes through the mission statement of to inspire courageous global citizens. Ciao! Auf Wiedersehen! Au revoir! Matane!